Hey yo! Yeah, this one's gonna be a bit of a, a rando dando. It's just my review of Jackass forever. Anyway, let's crack on with this, this beginning since it's uh, starting to become a bit of a thing now. Anyway, so good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. Welcome to a random ramble. My review of Jackass forever. Anyway, getting right in. The beginning of it starts off unexpected. I know they like the random stuff and I know they like sometimes to do their big kind of like dramatic starts and stuff like that, especially Knoxville. But it starts off very kaiju. So all I'm going to say is um, I think it's Pontius and his... Um, Eponymous PP. Yeah, that becomes the big bad at the beginning, which, yeah, on point, guys, on point. So, the beginning is really good. You, they introduce themselves again, and you see some of the new blood that's in there, and one or two of the celebs that are in there, and stuff like that, and they get all the guys that come in. And you can definitely tell these guys have aged a lot. Yeah, and I watched Steve O with some of his stuff uh, already with his stuff. So I know Steve O's aged when he's had some of the cast on. You could definitely tell that they've aged. Even the teasers they put out, they are like most of them are in their late 40s, rolling into their 50s, or maybe even some of them heading towards their mid 50s. So this kind of shit, they can't carry on forever. They are always going to be the jackasses forever. I am going to taper this probably towards the end where I do say basically there is something missing and yeah it is Bam and Ryan you can definitely tell there is just that tiny little thing missing but Bam had his problems which I'm not going to go into and Ryan Ryan was Ryan he had a lot of demons and his thing ended the way it ended but you know Nothing we can do about that now. The movie is well done, definitely well worth it. From my point. But rolling on it. The rest of the movie just goes on. It's just like hit after hit after hit. Just like poo cocktails and getting hit with the balls and getting shot at. The pains and the fat man slides and the wee man jokes and all the little stuff like that and kind of like you know Pontius' wiener getting stuck between two boards and uses a paddle Machine Gun Kelly getting getting hit with a big high five it's just a cavalcade of just smash 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 it's just full smash mouth but you also get the behind the scenes stuff as well all sewn in together you've got Right, so how's the cast doing? How's this? How are you feeling with this? How are you doing that? Why are you not doing it? But person X is doing it. Was this written for you? That's not written for you. This was written for him. But I've done it because I could do it better. You know, you've got Danger Aaron getting, getting yeah, Aaron McGee getting uh, absolutely annihilated with the guy that can do the world's hardest punch for the cup test. Pogo stick to the cup. You know, getting a softball wazzed at the cup. That's going to hurt. But there is a lot of, like, you know, dirt bike stuff in there. There's obviously going to be a lot of dirt bike stuff. Because that's the jackass way. It's got to be dirt bike. You know, you see, you see them all and it, everyone's just laughing their ass off. Problem is, when you aim to laugh your ass off, you will push it to the next level. Pushing it to the next level means you might end up KO'd for five minutes. Like Knoxville, like Steve-O. Those two are the two biggest KOs that you can see. One of them is uh, from a basically oversped runner. All I'm going to say on that one. And another one is a Bull S over tit to the head on the floor. 
Steve-O gets it with the treadmill. Knoxville gets bowled over. Yeah, another one as well. Hmm. He really, what was it, three gallons, four gallons, maybe five gallons of um, boar semen? Boar cocky? Jesus, that was insane. Ugh. It's just complete madness, complete insanity. Preston is in it. You can see he's in it. He doesn't do a lot of stuff like he used to because medical and all sorts of other stuff. But the guys that they bring in, they take it straight in. They just go straight through and just they just barge it. They just do it. It's like, yeah. It's like, yeah, dude. Epic. Yeah, like I said, there is a few bits that is missing, and at the end in the credits, you do roll through and you do see Bam and you do see some of the others and all of that lot going on. There's cameos galore. One of the major cameos, Tori Belecci. Anyone knows him from Mythbusters? Hey. But yeah, he does. They they get in the scene where they um, do the uh, can we catch a fart and make it explode. Oh yeah, dude, they do. That's all I'm going to say on that, but... My review, I want to try and keep this as short as possible, because everyone knows I always ramble. But my review of Jackass Forever, yeah, definitely go watch it. If you like the that sort of, like, party humour and stuff like that where you see someone's someone's um yam bag getting annihilated getting guys just obliterating themselves just for their holy hell of it go watch it it is just as ruckus it is just as disgusting it is just as homoerotic as all of the others were it is up there with all of the just stupid just stupid, off the shelf, not off the shelf, off the hook, everything is just dialed up. Even kind of like, you know, electric shock tap dancing and all sorts of other bits and pieces that go on in that movie. It is worth, worth it for that. Just so that you could just sit in your seat, laugh yourself stupid. Which, after, what, almost two years of being stuck in your house for some people. Watching this movie will make you laugh something like you've never laughed before. Some people may never have seen this kind of thing or they just went, they got bored of it. But because there's been such a big gap between 3 stroke 3.5, which I've got the collection in my box of movies and rando dando shiz, it's definitely worth it. I don't do a rating, but I'm just going to say basically it's a four and a half stars out of five. It is right up there with some of the greats of this stupidity moment. And especially after all of this Rona crap, it just makes you just laugh yourself stupid, which for some people is needed. A laugh yourself stupid movie. Now, I've already noticed that I'm heading towards nine minutes right now, so I'm going to end it right here. So that is me being a stupid idiot. Fox Star 1387 signing out. Peace!